Hello there, my name is IK Games, and today we're here to do yet another raw, unedited, uh, castle creation. Just continuing what we've been, uh, going on a spree for a little bit. So, for simplicity's sake, I went ahead and, uh, loaded the entrance. We're doing the second floor of the castle. And I've been deliberating on what exactly to do for the second floor. Obviously, we'd have the rampart bits right here. They can lean over and shoot over the wall area. You can still see the gate. Everything else is exactly the same. So it should fit right over it just perfectly. Now, the ramparts being a three wide, being able to go to the left and to the right. So I've been stuck trying to decide whether or not I should create a artificial third floor have some stairs here, have stairs there, and put a room here. And that's actually a huge room. Kind of like a uh, staging outpost. Kind of like a lookover area. Uh, maybe uh, the treasury will be on the second floor. But then again, there wouldn't be a lot of entrances on the other maps. I didn't really make one. And why would the king, unless he'd be an evil king, keep the treasury in his castle? Never mind the second floor. You put that stuff in the basement. It's easier to keep hidden. Which, I could always create a basement level. There is the, uh, pantry. Larder. Whatever it's called. Oi. There's that hatch I put in there. So it could be a, uh, secret area for basement dwelling. But today, I think I do like having that artificial third floor. Little watch post looking thing. Uh, I can shoot down in case they get onto the ramparts from down below. Big a uh, frontier castle outpost or maybe a rebellious spirit. So for this sake, I think I will. Doesn't actually have to be that large. Yeah. Keep it about right there. That'll be five, six, seven, one versus one, two, three, four. Five. So about, yeah, it's the standard. It's 25. 7 by 25. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. So first off, we need to artificially create the floor. So with that, keeping the two, let's go creating two tall. Let's get some stairs going. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Stairs. There we go. Doesn't really need to be large. Ah. Uh, does need to be too wide, however. That doesn't look too bad. Maybe there's a better type. We did have the other stairs here, did we not? Yes, we did. Yeah, that would work just fine. Having a little bit of an artificial floor there. Maybe have a third. Have this set as well. Let's go ahead and finish up the edge for the walls. Just to fill things in. Oh, didn't realize I missed this bit. Bit of a uh, discoloration going on there. Don't mind me. Having it set around. Go around, do a quick little pass, form the room. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Clean, 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 and clean. All right. So we more or less have the room. You can say that's a step up. You could probably do a, uh, thing it's just two steps. You could just do a hard step up, have it be able to access to this little area. Now, it'd be nice. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Get rid of you. In particular, have the edge. Go right here. Denoting that they can shoot up and out. I mean, we could just leave this open. Why would we not? That works right there. Saying that this is at least an extra story going up right there. So there is about 10, 15 feet of a gap for this wall. <clears throat> Depending on however tall you really would like to make it. Do what you can. Do what you will. We could add some uh, arrow. 
There it is. Let's, that works out fairly well. Mm, I would let you do your own. I'd let you do your own. We'd like to have that arrow bucket, however. I'm going to have to have these a bit everywhere. I would like to have it locked. Oh, no. I'm going to go ahead and get that random rotation in there, don't I? And then boom, 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 boom. Very nice. I'm maybe having, like, windows. Uh, you can slate your own windows however you will. You said there's every other slot there'd be an arrow slate. You know what? I might as well just do that. Uh, just, just shrink it. Just shrink it down. Place it. There we go. Easier to shoot out than it is to shoot in. No, you'd have it backwards, wouldn't you? I've got them backwards. Come on. Delete the things. Yes, because you don't want to be able to shoot in easier. There we go. Considering it's 25 by 25, it should work out fairly well. There we go. Having plenty of arrow slits and whatnot. You can have this be covered over. You can have it not be covered over. Uh, it would be a stationed area. Much like the towers, I'll be doing a similar thing with the towers. Uh, they'll be uh, boxed around, and then you'd be the uh, open rampart area through here. I wonder, is there... Eh, uh, there is some water stuff here. Uh, no fountains. Let's go through the traditional, a little bit of everything, shall we? Would they have any desks laying around? Uh, probably some tables and chairs sitting in the back. For, pff, I mean, they would be garrisoning up here. But they would have a little bit of a rust area. So what is that? That's a one, two. And that's on the second one. One, two. That table looks a lot better compared to the other one, but it has the detached chairs to it. If I could just get the other table to work, it would have been nice. Oh, well. Hmm. Maybe have an armory? No. Maybe not that kind of armory. I was thinking maybe having an armory up here. Not exactly. Having a few benches. Placed. The garrisons to sit down. They would. This would be mostly a combat area, so this is probably going to be a fairly short video. Second floor is not going to have a ton of decorations. It's mostly going to be going in and out. There's going to be uh, there's going to be a garrison patrol always sitting here. There's going to be an area that can just sit around, lounge around. Uh, for wounded area, they could use the table doubly for wounded. Maybe I just go for the uh, traditional sense. Just go for the normal table. It's not a bad idea. Instead of going that, I could just go. Boop boop boop. Have the uh, large tables. Doesn't exactly fit, does it? Okay. Yeah, that would work. And then one here as well, keeping equal distance. Maybe for injuries and wounds, uh, having some of those chairs uh, sitting across. That works. Boom, boom. Just some chairs in the back. Whether or not they'd eat and use with them, probably not. Again, for wounded care, stuff like that. That works out fairly well. More furniture? Would anything really be useful in here? I can easily see the braziers. The fire pits for the statues. Statue braziers. Yes, I can see these easily. This would be over. Icon over walls. Having it placed there. Having it placed there. Uh, denoting a little bit of light. External light. Uh, they could be off at night. Could be on at night. Eh, just showing a bit of a fire pit. You know, statues and such like that. Demons. Gargoyles. Broken statues. Would there be a, any kind of siege equipment here? Uh, maybe a bastion alone, maybe? 
Uh, we abandoned a siege artillery. So I guess we're going down to the siege. Structures, any more barrels, pillars, wells? Probably not. Vegetation, we're good. Archways, awnings, bags, barrels. Hmm. A few barrels laying around. It doesn't need to be over the wall. There we go. Fix that. Hmm, maybe I should get the other barrel type. I have one hiding up. There we go. Nope. Oi. Rotating automagically doesn't work too well. There we go. Having the two barrels of water. In case you need to put out some fires. It being a stone, most likely not a lot of it would be caught on fire. There would be a lot of woodwork for easy repairs and access. Maybe turn this into a wooden wall. It's not a bad idea. Outdoor, no, no walls. Indoor, stone. Here's a wooden wall texture. How would it look? Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. I like that. Having the variety helps. There we go. Artificially wooden. Uh, pillar. Uh, maybe having a couple of wooden pillars in here. Denoting, trying to get some stability. Being the, uh, you know, being wooden in nature. I will randomize that, however. And it needs to be there. And then there. There we go. I'm putting it in the corners instead of in the middle, so that way uh, characters can go in and around it without having much difficulty. If you put it in the middle, then characters can't stand on it, can't stand around it, have to go around it. So in other words, characters usually can't stand in these locations. They'd be impassable terrain. Or very rough terrain, they try to knock it over. But if you put it in the half places like this, they can potentially be, considering it's a five fighting space, so you can have people fighting over the table, one here, one there. They would be fighting over and around the table and do it, you know, all that fun kind of fun stuff. All right, I like that. Anything particularly? No. Bars, beds, cracks, scorches. No, but probably not. Books, bottles, containers. They wouldn't have much here. Be kind of a. Uh, Maybe a rester, like the downstairs being the armory resting area. I will be doing the main armory on the other side over here, uh, going up. Uh, we would like to have that ballista if we can. Ooh, pot. Cacti, cages, prison, carpets, wagons, chairs, chests, coins, forge, crates, crystals, cushions, bodies, desk, doors. There would be no doors up here. No need for doors. Uh, any dummies in this area? No. No new for that. They have their own little training area. Uh, palisades and walls. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. No. Fire, flags, flares, food, footprints, fountain, games. Ooh, yes. They can use these and those. Mausoleums, keeps. Thought about using the keep centers for that, the gatehouses, but yeah, it'd be a little bit difficult having squares. A couple of prefab locations. Used these several times before. Ladders, ladders, library. Siege equipment, here we go. I believe a standard piece of siege equipment would probably be about 10 feet, maybe a little bit larger. This would be going over the walls. 
having it partially placed, having to go around. The question is, how many should I place? It would be a great counter siege, and sieges usually go through the front. So you would have majority of the defenses on the front, and you would have some equal distance all the way around the back, uh, considering the entryways into the castle, or keep. I'll put it there, and I'll put one there. Alright, so bolts, battering rams. Hmm. Probably place a few bolts individually. There we go. That's a good size. Individually over here for storage. There we go. They're just aligned out for the immediate grab. On that side, grab. Adding some variety to it. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Hmm. Yeah, just leaving a gap in there would be fine. Uh, denoting trying to keep the ballista bolts out, available, so they can run in and out. Keep in mind that there is a limited supply. Uh, as for on that table, what could we do? I don't think we do cannons. Probably not. Not warps. Ah, there's another. There's that trebuchet. Hmm, that's all we have here. Maybe something else. Maybe we should put some statues around here. We've got the the uh, larger statues there. Ammunition for the ballistas. Just an empty table for that one. Some chairs. Maybe maybe something around so that way I can sit and eat. Uh, for long sieges, repairs, healing. To keep these on the inside. Don't need to do anything with that. Symbols. Tables. I think we're doing pretty good. So yeah, this is going to be one of the shorter episodes. Uh, a little bit smaller in the access area, but keep in mind that this will probably be a combat-only map. You can use this separate from the first floor if you want to. You can use this on its own if you want to, just to have a uh, attack or defense, or try to scale the walls. Uh, tell, ask them what side they'd like to go into, add those invisible barriers. Uh, you may want to limit, considering this is going up, you may want to limit some vision until they get about right here, halfway on the stairs, on the both sides, it's just so they can't immediately just peer in and say there's people sitting back here on the benches or doing wherever you place your NPCs. But for the most part, yeah, that, this doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's going to be kind of like this for the remainder of the top floors. Uh, the towers will definitely have their towers more emphasized. They're going to have the slots. It's going to remain to be in stone. Uh, there's going to be uh, wooden locations, probably for little huts to protect against sieging and arrows and stuff like that. But for the most part, uh, around the sides and the back, there's uh, maybe in the back there'll be another one of these, almost exactly the same. Maybe exactly the same. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll have to think about it. So, again, thank you for watching. And if you like it, do the usual. If you don't like it, do the usual. Uh, either way, I would love feedback. Positive or negative feedback, I would enjoy. It, I mean, I need to know if I'm doing good or not, right? So, thanks again. And everybody take care. I'll see you guys next time.